Whoa! Oh, <laughs> I was I was below right. you. It's on. It's on. <laughs> Friends, we have a really fun challenge today. Our good friend John Overstreet designed these amazing F-16s a couple months back. We've been selling them here, but we haven't really gotten to spend much time with them. Now, if you guys know, we spent a little time in a real F-16 with our good friends at the 187 Fighter Group, specifically Colonel Vaughn and Bohr. Vipers have been really near and dear to our heart, but we really wanted to try a different configuration to make these fully aerobatic, and today we're gonna be put into the test. So we're gonna go back in time, show you guys how we've made them. Um, let's get to Missouri. Let's go to Missouri. So we are really excited about this project because it's definitely bringing back some amazing memories I had with the great folks at the 187th Fighter Group, the Air National Guard. Now you guys can obviously tell we love military, we love World War II, we love bringing out the history. We also love strategy games. And that's why we're really excited to partner with our sponsors, Conflict of Nations, for this episode. Conflict of the Nations is a free online player versus player strategy game. And with the strategy game, you're able to choose a real country to lead in modern global warfare. You can fight up to 128 other players in real-time games that can take weeks to complete. Choose your strategy, engage in epic battles, and take over the world. You can declare war on your neighbors or even your co-workers or forge alliances with them. One thing I really love about this game is how they have real-time gameplay, but at the same time, there's a strategy involved in it. Conflict of Nations is also very flexible. You can play either on your phone or your PC with the same account. If you want to try out Conflict of Nations, you can get, for a limited time, only 30 days, one month premium subscription, and also 13,000 gold for free. So do us a big favor, make sure you go to the description, choose the link, and choose your country, and fight your way to victory. Now we got a trip ahead of us. We're gonna be going down to Missouri to build these F-16s with our good friend John, the original designer. All right, so John, this thing's going together pretty quickly. Why don't you explain what's going on here? All right, so we're going to be doing two F-16s at the same time. So whenever we build the F-16s, I start out with the lower wing skins, tie them together with a couple formers, and then we're going to add some spars. Once that's done, I think we're going to add some upper wing skins. I may have to go back and watch my own video. I always hate to have to do that, but I may have to. It's getting pretty late. But I think this is going to go together really quickly. I'm going to show you my very, very favorite part of this entire build. The way the battery box goes in, feeds in from the bottom, wing spars will go through those holes. And if you look here in the back, we tie in to the rear wing spars. I love how that fits. Once everything gets glued together, everything is rock solid. And go away. That's my favorite part too. Good. Yeah, my favorite part is the fact that you build this whole thing flat on the table, perfectly flat. Yes. And then by the time you start adding the formers, it like starts to build. So. So, that's that's all you. Where the wires go is very important, right? Yeah, we want to make sure that this stuff doesn't get sucked up inside the EDF. Um, I'm not going to tell you how I know that. We'll save that for a different day. But you can see that I've got it zip tied right here. That'll keep it from moving back too much. I'm also going to secure it up front. We'll keep that tight and that'll uh, keep us from having wires tangled up in the EDF, I hope. Awesome. And you started building F-16s, what, two years ago? I think so. Yeah. It's been a long time. So one of the original versions that John had had a single thickness uh, tail, but you started designing full flying tails, which is more of an airfoil shape, which gives more strength and also scale. This is cool. What are you doing here? All right, so we built the base, and you can see that it's almost, oh, I'd say probably an inch, inch and a quarter wide. Uh, we don't have to worry about this thing starting to flap whenever we are, we're doing a fast pass. So really stable base, and then you can see we've also got an airfoil shape here. That's gonna drop right down on top, and it'll be super strong. 
So we're gonna be flying the EDF, that's the electronic ducted fan version of this. The other one we're gonna be taking back to modify. Uh, do you remember what the motor is that you have in this? Uh, 3200 kV, 70 millimeter. Awesome. Now we don't have that available in our store, but what we are gonna do is put a link on there. I think you get it from Amazon. Correct. It is phenomenal. The power in this thing is ridiculous. Can't wait to see it fly. Let's put it in the air. All right, so you ready? Here we go. <laughs> Dude, just look down my transmitter for me real quick. What am I flying at? Oh, you're just a hair above half. Oh my gosh, and I can climb. Oh my gosh! Have you ever seen the EDF do vertical? <laughs> I, I've never been pro EDF uh, just because I, I don't like flying for two minutes. I mean, I'm still gliding. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now I'm pro EDF, and I'm definitely pro the Swiper. Uh, Dave, this is going to be your machine, right? Is it? <laughs> I'm giving this machine to him. We got a lot of work to do because this is the EDF version with a 60 millimeter fan. I want to go back to the drawing board. I want to put two motors tucked underneath the wings. And I want to make a 3D aerobatic version of the Viper, and then to put these two against each other, have some fun. So we got two Vipers built. This one flies great. We got to go back to Ohio and finish the other one. Now this whole project and this whole trip, for a matter of fact, has gotten me really nostalgic. Now if you guys are new to flight test, we were blessed with a great opportunity to hang out with the great folks from the Air National Guard 187th Fighter Group. Now Colonel Vaughn, uh, Bohr, these gentlemen took us under their wing and gave us this real amazing experience of what it's like to be around a military family. These people are not only amazingly talented, but they are also amazing humans, loving people as much as our freedom. Myself and our team was also given the opportunity to go through the experience of what it's like to fly a sortie. I got to fly with Colonel Vaughn and an F-16 Viper and had one of the most amazing life-changing experiences of all time. Hearing him talk about his love for people, his love for freedom, and also what it's like to fly one of these amazing pieces of machinery. Along with that, we also got to fly a refueling mission and record the whole process. Not everyone's guaranteed to have an amazing family, but what I learned from that experience was this military family is one I'd be blessed to call my own. That experience forever changed my life, forever changed the team's life, and I'm really excited to actually make these two Vipers look just like their aircraft. It's been a couple years since we had this experience. It's truly still impacted us to this day. If you guys want to check out that video, it's going to be linked down in the description below. Now, we still have a lot of work ahead of us. David's going to be working on getting the two motors mounted to the boom and the new Viper, and then we're going to see how she flies. Okay, Dave, what, what's your game plan? All right, so we're taking uh, John's beautiful design here, and we're going to try to put props on the front of it. My game plan is uh, taking this uh, piece of paint stick and basically sliding it in here so it'll mount to the battery tray. And coming off of that, we're going to have carbon fiber tube coming out and putting F-Pack motors on that with uh, five inch quad props. The goal is if we put props on the front of this, then we'll have differential thrust. It'll give us a little bit more control and it'll hopefully make it 3D capable. Nice. Yeah, gonna get to work. Now Dave's finishing up his mod and what we're affectionately called the Boom and Viper. Boom and Viper. Now this is gonna be hopefully a really easy mod that you guys can do if you don't have EDFs. Now that that's done, we're gonna put this in a very simple two-tone gray paint job. After we have our gray down, all we need to do is paint the tail red and then we can use the included sticker kit to make it look just like the 187 Spider Group's Red Tail Vipers. Alrighty guys, so when we were out at John's, we built these two F-16s. Now these F-16s have been in our store and have been around for a little while, but we never really got to get our hands on until we went down to Missouri and actually flew this one. Yeah, yeah. Um, EDF version flew phenomenal. Yeah. Um, the, the EDF, he has a 70 millimeter. Um, we'll have a link down below, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Cruise around half throttle, you know, it's fast, it's sleek, it's everything awesome. We wanted to take a little bit of a step, but we built this one and brought it back without flying it, mainly, so we wanted to put twin motors on it to see how aerobatic we can make it. Yeah, yeah, um, it should be fully 3D capable. We're gonna find out. So both Dave and I are flying two different configurations. He's flying a 70 millimeter EDF powered by a 5100 milliamp six cell battery. That is a ton of power. Mine's a little bit lighter set up with the two motors. I'm flying two 2300 four cells parallel together. So one, basically one battery for each motor. Should have a lot of flight time. We'll see how the performance is. So you guys know we love performance, but we also love saving money here. If you went to a hobby shop and you bought a jet in a box, you know, a plane, a plane that was all molded, retracts, lights, you'd be tipping the scales at least 500 bucks, probably before you even put a battery in. 
Nice thing about these is you can buy our foam board speed build kits. You can go to the dollar store, you can buy some Adams Ready Board or some flight test foam, trace out your pieces. You have jets forever. You have a permanent pattern and if you crash it and break it, you're up and flying. The best part, everything ready to fly is less than half the cost of going to the hobby shop and buying one molded. You may be giving up the retracts and some of the other fancy stuff, but you're also saving the weight and the air that's gonna equate to performance. Now this is the maiden for our twin motor version, uh, what we're calling the Boomin Viper. Uh, the nice thing about this is it's a lot cheaper to put together. It has a different characteristics. Hopefully we're gonna put that to the test. Our good friend Fred Provost drove all the way up from Florida. He's spending time with us. You guys probably know him as Flying Monkey, Mediocre FPV. He's been around from, uh, with flight tests since day one. He's gonna give us a launch, get us in the air. Yeah, yeah. You ready to try it? How about, if this works good, he'll launch you second? Yeah, yeah, I've got the EDF version. Um, we've flown it. I think I think it deserves a little bit of uh, we, stick time with this guy. We gotta do some formation yeah. flying, and then we'll see which each one can do. All right, let's fly. <laughs> right, left, up, down. Why don't you throw me that way, bud? Yeah, right there. That's perfect. Ready? All right, that's booming in more ways than having two He's motors. Quick. That's fantastic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and just trim right, it up. You ready for me, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna cruise around nice and slow. Let Michael uh, do it. Oh, this is nuts! So about a 30, 25, 30 degree angle up. Ready? Ah, oh, perfect! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Double dosing! So I thought mine was gonna lack in speed, but we're both pretty comparable. Yeah, definitely. You were just slicing through the air, though. I'll go ahead and slow down and let you pass me. Whoa! Oh, I, was, I was blowing right, you. It's on. It's on. <laughs> that almost did it very quickly. Oh, I, just, I just thought about something. Laser tag. <laughs> I, I need to add a little bit of trim to mine. Alright, I'll let you trim pretty, yours up. Pretty nose heavy. I don't know if you know this, <laughs> but that was about as close as you get to an airplane without was, hitting it. That was ridiculous. Oh my now, goodness. Now both these kits are what they call limited, which yeah. means basically it's kind of like, we're gonna put out the kit, there's limited instructions, it's meant for advanced builders. Uh, you get a PDF, you don't get a build video, and you get symbol mapping. And then it's up to you to outfit of whatever you want. But what I love, check this out. <laughs> <laughs> that's called vertical. And that's called hovering! Oh yeah! <laughs> We're doing things that Vipers probably shouldn't do. I'll have to call my good friend, uh, Colonel Vaughn, and ask him, is this normal? It looks like it's got thrust <laughs> yeah. factory. It, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a low speed high pass here. All right, cool. I'm going to get behind you. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know if you can hear that on the camera, but it sounds awesome. Yeah, that sounds really cool. <laughs> Dude, that was well, a nice pass. Well done there, Davo. Thank you. Please fly smooth as silk. You know, these fly so smooth, I'm just thinking of something. When we got to fly in uh, Colonel Vaughn's F-16, we did a mid-air refueling sortie. Yes. How crazy would it be to set these up and try to do a, a mid-air refueling operation? That'd be amazing. Wouldn't that be ridiculous? Yeah. That'd be sick. I don't know how hard that would be, but that'd be I don't be, know, but sick. I'm just talking out loud. That sounds like a lot of fun. It's, it's very quiet. I love really? this. Yeah, I and love for that. an EDF, I'm only running half throttle right now, really? and it's just smooth. That's awesome. All right, I'm inverted. No problems <laughs> inverted with mine. I will join you. Ooh, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> You're carrying go. around I've, a ton, ton yeah, more weight. I've got some serious nose weight. Yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah. So you want to adjust issues. yours back a little bit, maybe? Yeah, yeah. So the neat thing about this Viper here, the one I'm flying with the twin booms, if you guys fly race quads or if you have wings that take 22. Uh, 07, 22, 06 motors, you can simply do this mod right on your Viper and you can have basically the same effect because I don't know about you, Dave, I don't see the motors. No, not at all. I'm just kind of peeking over at yours as I'm flying. It looks great. Because you're running, you're running clear props on that, yeah? Yeah. Nice. And I gotta say, your noise is cooler than my noise. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. But it's incredible. Colonel Vaughn would be uh, would very, very happy. We're gonna nice. spin around here. I'm gonna go straight up after this low pass here. Oh, are we gonna do it? We should do a drag race vertically. You do it, and I'll fall in. Oh, oh I'm running out you. of power! <laughs> oh, I'm I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely have me beat on vertical. But <laughs> <laughs> it recovered nice. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. It, it, it flattened right. That was awesome. 
Now, I do have an EDF here, so I'm actually gonna land. I'm kind of worried about my voltage. I've been pushing it a little bit. All right, cool. I'm oh. coming in. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it wanted to float. <laughs> <laughs> it's just not normal. Heads up, Della! It's, it's not normal to have a jet this size that does this good. All right, now I get to have some fun because I still have plenty of battery. Do you have differential thrust? Watch, watch this. Wow. Yeah, he's got differential thrust for sure. Yeah, Josh. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. I love this. <laughs> it's not every day you see a jet hover. Whee! Now watch this, guys. We're gonna have some fun. Whee! <laughs> It reminds me of the F-22 that we have. Yeah, uh, it's a prop and slot. It's a prop and slot that you yeah. can flip over like that. It's literally what it does, but it's way more powerful. Dave, you gotta fly this. I'm gonna need <laughs> <hand> the <laughs> controls. <laughs> Take this stuff in. Yes, yeah, I, should, I should hold this. Look at this. Wow. All right, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to you. <laughs> you it is He's like, I don't wanna give it up. It's light as a feather, it's nimble, it's maneuverable. It flies like a 3D airplane and it flies like a jet all in one. It's like the everything. The jet. old 3D jet. All it's right. a testimony, honestly, to the design of the Viper, too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it, it crazy? It, it feels like I'm flying a jet, but. <laughs> 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 These are just two F motors, by the way. You can go even more powerful by adding our quad radials on there, too, but I don't know if you really need to. No, no, it's got tons of power. Yeah, I definitely like the sound of the EDF. Yeah. But yeah, this thing does fly way better. Yeah. Well, I think cost-wise too. Like I, I love performance and versatility, and budget. Mm. Um, by the time you put all this together, you can have two planes that you're flying that are prop planes. Like I want to taste a jet. You got it. You yep. Know? That's right. Dave, isn't it amazing? Yeah. You want me to land it? <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and land it. Right. I love the slow performance on it too. Like it just it just goes to a crawl. Yeah. yeah you can yeah, like you kind of nose up a little bit. A little bit. You're gonna go to the end of the runway. <laughs> Look at that. Right at his feet. <laughs> awesome, brother. Great job. Oh, I turkeyed him. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We'll get it right eventually. Oh my golly. What do you think? Yeah. Oh, great experience. Awesome. Yeah. Highly recommend. We got to recharge some batteries. These two guys need to fly these planes now too. And uh, friends, thank you for being part of the Flight Test family. And also, as before, thank you for everyone who's serving in our military, protecting our freedom, fighting for it. And thank you again to the 187th group for giving us the opportunity to have such a great experience. If you guys like this Viper, you can go to our store, you can pick one up and you can build it and you have the exact same experience for you. Let's, let's see you guys. That's right. All right, see ya.